right, I got a fairly large mailbag. It's a big one today. Um, hmm. I got some boxes. I got something from JLC PCB. Let's put these boxes over here. I'll just shove all this stuff out of the way. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, <clears throat> doesn't say. Let me get these out of here. Well, those are bigger than I thought they were going to be. These are uh, vibration sensors. Through hole vibration sensors. And it's just a spring on a pole that you can mount to a board. And it detects uh, disturbance. LED chip. Oh, almost cut that one open. All right, these are sealed, so they must be NeoPixels, I'm going to guess, of some sort. These are... Uh, white I think I bought some white Neopix uh, WS 2812 white um, so they're addressable white LEDs which I thought was kind of interesting because you can PW, you know you PWM them. I thought there were going to be two different colors of white though and it seemed to be just one hmm. Transistor. These are, they say 1206 20X10K. These are four resistor networks. Um, they say they're 1206 size. I don't, I don't know that they are. They look kind of small. Let's compare them to something else I have already. I have these. These are like 0603s. Yeah, they're the same size. I don't know why they call them 1206. Maybe that's the size of the whole package. But it's very confusing when you buy these because the sizes come in either four times the size. I was hoping that they make, I don't think they make resistors in bigger than 603 packages, uh, arrays. So I was hoping to find some bigger ones that are easier to work with because those are tiny. Uh, this has a shipping label put on top of it. Malaysia. Yeah, can't see. If I can get this out of here. I really wish I could have read that. Fucking idiots. These are CH340Gs. Uh, there's a USB UART 
serial converters, chips. I think the G, I think that's the one that requires the, the crystal, unfortunately. I see component. All right, more, more something. Uh, is an Atmel eighteen oh one tiny thirteen? I thought I got tiny eleven. Tiny thirteen A. Hmm. I thought I ordered something else. At tiny thirteens. Breadboards. Look at those micro breadboards, I bet. Yep, it's a five pack of black mini breadboards. It doesn't say. Lots of small components coming in. I ordered a bunch of small things. These are some tiny regulators. Um, uh, what does it say? RTTO13-336. I don't know. Some kind of little tiny 3.3 volt regulators. Spring-loaded pogo pin. I ordered some pogo pins, some small ones. Surface mount. That's them. They are tiny. Looks like I ordered ten of them. But those should be PCB mountable. SMD resistances uh, this is uh, some kind of I don't know I don't know what this is I will have to look this up let me see if I can see it on the, on the package no I don't have I cannot see what that says. It's way too small. Let's see what I ordered. It's a TO23 package. I think maybe I got. I don't know. I don't know what that is. I'm not even going to guess. Could be a 3.3 volt regulator in a TO23 package. Switch. These are some switches. These are some side mount switches. I was looking for a variety of different kinds of side mount switches. Uh, and I found some more different kinds. And these are a little different than some of the other ones I have. Doesn't say, it's covered up. It looks like a bunch of stuff in here. Individually packaged something or other. Uh, looks like I got a bunch of little push buttons. Same push buttons. More push buttons. Looks like they're all the same push buttons. I ordered like 50 of them. These are the pushed up buttons that fit on my, my new project. Module. Uh, this is a looks like an SD reader. Maybe this is like an MP3 module. This might be like a music module since it's got a something on there. 
But now it's just a micro SD reader. Hmm. I don't know why I bought another one. I already bought one of these. It, uh, but this is not a. It's not a micro. It's a full. Maybe that's why. All right. Integrated circuit. Uh, these are also a 3.3 volt regulator. Looks like the same kind of uh, number. Um, ME62 11C33M5G. No idea. It says a uh, USB network card. But didn't show my address. Oh, so that's why it says something there. This is a A lipo battery safely packaged and mislabeled on purpose, probably. Um, so 3.7, 1500 milliamp lithium cell. Uh, looks like it hmm, almost got punctured. Hmm, scary. I uh, don't know if it's got protection circuitry or not. Uh, yeah, it's got something on there. It's got a little circuit board, so it must have some kind of protection built in. Most of these do. Uh, I'm going to guess this other box is the same thing, another battery. No, nope, this is uh, some WS2812s. Of course, they're not hermetically sealed in a package, so I will have to probably bake them. Wonderful. So let me go ahead and stick these right in a controlled environment and make sure that they are what I need first. The ones I already have. See if they are anything different. No, they look to be about the same, but this die is really small. It's tiny. That die is pretty big. So this might be a newer version or an SK6812. Hopefully the footprint's exactly the same. Yeah, it seems to have a nuts, the same amount of lead on it. All right. So some of this is components for my new PCB. A lot of these are for testing. I don't have an official source of getting good ones. This is just to have enough to throw around and burn up. Uh, these switches. Um, I looked at putting horizontal and vertical switches. So you can use it either, you know, somehow integrate the switch into the case and mount it either, either direction. And I just got one of these so I have the ability to make a a portable project. I don't have any portable ESP projects. And I got this JLC PCB order. And this is, um, I already opened it up just to make sure that it was right. And uh, I did have a problem, so I had some neat take a picture of it. Um, these are my PCBs for my new project. 
and a stencil, front and back on the same stencil. I won't be doing them both at the same time probably, so it's it was fine. This is a prototype, and it looks pretty good. Happy with it. There's a couple things about the PCB that uh, need to be addressed, but hopefully it's uh, irrelevant and it still works. So there's my PCB. It's a, like a light and sound project, light and sound board. It has four NeoPixels in the front, an ESP12, USB port, piezo buzzer, all breakouts. Uh, it's got a footprint for an L one LED that can either be power or GPIO controlled. A button that's either reset controlled or GPI controlled. There's pads on the back to select which one you want to use them for. And there's uh, some footprint for an SHT temperature humidity sensor on the top and a temperature sensor, an LM75 temperature sensor footprint on the back. If you want to just make a temperature sensor, real, you know, just throw it on there. I got breakouts um, on the back as well. I got two mounting holes for M2 hardware. I probably should have put some pin holes now that I realize it's going to be hard to secure that without having alignment pins or a case that holds the edge of the board so it doesn't put stress on that. But it's not a heavy board. It's not going to. When you're plugging it in and out, it might. You might have to redesign that and rev next rev. Now the back's got five neo pixels. So you can either populate the four on the front only, or you can populate all nine and have double, like a double-sided control where you can light both sides. Uh, or you can just do the back if you want to have all the components on one side. Just have your LEDs on the back. You could do just a five and then bypass the the front four with with that pad right there. Or um, you could just do the four and skip the middle and do four and four. Uh, so there's a couple things you can do with it, and this is mainly to put inside a, an enclosure and have some kind of lighting effects and sound notifications. I have test points for all the pads, so if I wanted to make a jig or something, I could. Um, and if there was a problem that I needed to bodge something on this, pro, you know, this is a prototype revision one, I could bodge things out. And I had a little area here for SMD prototyping. Not a lot of space, but some pads that you could uh, add some pull-ups and stuff like that, too, if you needed to. And this is kind of made to fit in the uh, Oops. A, like a small enclosure. Uh, with like a, you know, some kind of light diffusion. So that you'd have... You know, your U a USB jack and diffused lights, or you could put it in some kind of tower and have the lights illuminate it. So that's that. I also picked up some air hose stuff because I built a vacuum SMD pickup tool out of an aquarium hose. Um, oh, uh, some junk stuff I had sitting around, some old silicone tubing. Uh, so I picked up some barbs in case I wanted to uh, splice it or cut some of it and rework it. Some T-valves and a connector. Till next time!